The Albuquerque Police Department says its Internal Affairs Unit has finally cleared a massive backlog. And they did it on top of investigating all kinds of new misconduct cases that popped up along the way. On special assignment, News 13's Jose Mitri shows you the cases APD's handling and what it learned from them. <laughs> You are so lucky! From use of force cases to drunk driving. Have you had anything to drink? Yes, I had one drink about the time I got home. And from officers to civilian employees. So it's, it's your friends or did you consume it a week no, ago? No, it's my friends. It was a week ago. Yeah, we okay. had... Why is it still in your pants, sir? Um, I don't clean out my car that often. Honestly, I wish I did, but... You don't clean your car that often? How about your pants, though? This was inside your pants, right? These are glimpses of just a few of the 84 cases the Albuquerque Police Department's Internal Affairs Unit completed last year. How important is it to the Albuquerque Police Department to hold its officers accountable if there is misconduct? Extremely important. The ultimate barometer is the, what the public, how the public feels about the police department, whether we are treating people fairly, justly, and if we are improving. APD's Deputy Chief of the Compliance Bureau, Eric Garcia, explains internal affairs is split up into two parts. The force division looks into whether officers are following new rules when they use force, and the professional standards division investigates any other potential misconduct. Not reporting to duty on time, or not prepared for duty, or it could, lead, it could be as far as insubordination to a supervisor. Even faking doctor's notes. Internal affairs investigations we obtained from APD showed the department moved to fire two employees last year accused of doing just that. An investigator concluded gang unit specialist Antoinette Apodaca changed the time of an appointment on a doctor's note to avoid going to a meeting. And another investigation found record specialist Isabel Martinez called in sick for several days before showing up with doctor's notes signed in pencil. A call to the hospital confirmed she didn't actually see a doctor there after all. The Internal Affairs Force Division has also had its hands full, handling current cases on top of clearing a backlog of old cases, mostly from 2017. We started with 304. We completed every single one of them. Force Division Commander Robert Middleton says they finished reviewing all of those old use of force cases that didn't get a close enough look the first time around. They did not have the tools to do the investigations or reviews correctly. He says the cases came before APD put a new, more thorough system in place to investigate its officers. And looking back, gave APD a chance to catch its mistakes, to provide more training to officers investigating use of force, and to the officers under investigation. It's a history lesson on APD, and it's extremely important because this backlog defines where we came from. Like this incident two years ago. Ah, you are lucky. Ah, you know how lucky ah. you are. Supervisors initially cleared the officers, but a second look after reviewing the backlog showed the officers actually should have been disciplined. Body camera video shows Officer Steven Arias and Clarence Garcia chasing Daniel Acosta. After he didn't pull over when police tried to stop him for alleged aggressive driving near Central and 63rd. Then Officer Arias tases Acosta and you see a gun on the ground. Watch. Get your hand out of your pocket! Ah! Get your hand out of the pocket! Here it is from Officer Garcia's perspective when he catches up. He grabs the gun and aims it at Acosta's head. You are so lucky! How dare you pull a weapon on us? I'm going to cuff him. Obviously a very tense situation, but not exactly how an officer should respond, according to the internal affairs investigation. It found Garcia shouldn't have pointed the suspect's gun at his head in anger like that. Both officers should have turned their cameras on earlier, and supervisors should have reported the misconduct. It took more than a year to reach that conclusion and give officers feedback. And because it took so long, they won't be disciplined based on APD's agreement with the union. We can't and we won't discipline somebody if it does go outside of those timelines. Um, it's not being fair to the police officer. But he says with the backlog now cleared, his division can focus on getting current cases done faster for officers. They need feedback immediately, and that was one of our deficiencies as a police department is we didn't do that for them. By the end of this encounter, Officer Garcia actually thanked the suspect. But thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for not trying to shoot us. Because I would have been sad. I don't want to shoot anybody. Acosta admitted he ran because he had drugs on him. We'll 
concerns me is the fact you're running with a pistol when officers are chasing you and giving you commands. Yeah, I know. It was wrong. I should have stopped. I'm sorry. I'm going to get what I deserve. That's for sure. On special assignment, Lizamy Tree. You are so lucky! KRQE News 13. Out of all 84 cases completed last year, eight ended with an employee getting fired or resigning. For more of those details or to see the raw video from an IA case, go to alwaysonkrqe.com.